we create sound that is real. Sound that when you close your eyes, you're basically in the room with the performer. And that's what sets us apart from any other system in terms of acoustic performance. We've had a really exciting 18 months uh, where we've uh, grown the business uh, by a factor of two, we've increased revenues by a factor of three, and most importantly, we have taken some major strides forward, uh, both with the technology, but perhaps more importantly, with the implementation of systems utilizing the technology. We've set out with a technology that we believed at the time was going to have some uh, applications both to improve the quality of audio, but potentially to add to a number of different uh, you know, capabilities in a number of different market segments. My vision for this organization, my goal for this organization is, a, is for it to be the default way of delivering acoustics in automotive. Now that's gonna take many years to come about, but through success and focus on execution, I believe we can uh, get into the millions of panels a year pretty quickly and uh, move on from there to potentially 50 to 100 to 200 million panels a year. And that would be something that would be quite extraordinary as we have an impact on the electric vehicle industry worldwide. We've always felt that the technology had potential within the automotive market, given some of the fundamental characteristics of that technology around weight and around power efficiency. What we have uh, in my hand uh, is basically a traditional loudspeaker. This is a magnetic moving coil uh, speaker. It's basically a cone on the front, and that cone moves in and out in response to a changing electrical signal and a changing magnetic field that a, uh, moves a magnet back and forward inside a, uh, the speaker. That's been the way the audio has been a, uh, created for the best part of 100 years now. What we have here is an electroacoustic panel. Uh, it's based on the principles of electrostatic uh, speakers. That's a concept that's been around since the 1950s. And what electrostatic speakers do is they move a very thin membrane, which you can just about see in the middle of the, uh, the speaker here. One of the key challenges with electrostatics historically has been that the product has been very um, difficult to maintain. Our intellectual property and our patents have allowed us to create electrostatic speakers that will more than stand up to the uh, temperature swings and the uh, humidity that will be experienced in the automotive environment. There's two characteristics, physical characteristics of the speaker that again add to the value that we're able to deliver into the automotive environment. Uh, we're able to package this in places such as the front pillars or on the instrument panels or indeed as I say in headrests in a way that is impossible to do uh, with the uh, traditional speakers. The other obvious aspect is that we're creating a speaker that is variable shaped. We're able to shape our speakers to fit the space into which the designer wishes that speaker to go. So when we started out, we thought, well, we should be able to save about 50% or so of the weight and 50% of the power. And what we found is that actually we're getting uh, over 80% mass savings, and in one particular case, over 90% of mass savings in comparison to the traditional speakers that were used for a particular uh, application. And the power consumption is of a similar order. We're getting something like 70 to 75% power savings in the scenarios that we're implementing. The system design that we've done is actually saving over six kilograms for one of our lead customers. Let me introduce you to the range of the products that we now have. This is the first product, it's our Sonoma. It's our 5,000 pound entry level a, a product, which we created now three years ago. This is the first implementation of our technology. So it's a single ended a, a transducer. Uh, and that means that it has a membrane and just one stator. It was very well received. So our second product that we brought to market is the Aperio. This is the ultimate in what is possible to achieve with electrostatic speakers. It is a pro-consumer uh, product. 
Uh, the base unit that you see here is £20,000 and we do a gold-plated version that's £30,000 for those who are looking for something that is really extra special. What's different about this product is that it contains the second generation of our technology. This is what we call the double-sided push-pull uh, transducer and that uh, has two stators and a membrane in between those stators with each membrane being biased in order to pull or push the membrane appropriately. And this was an important step for the company because this was the basis of the technology that we're now utilizing in the automotive market. So finally, what we have here is the product that we just uh, announced this autumn. This is the Bravura. Specifically, this is the Bravura headphone that incorporates the lessons that we've learned from the previous two generations of technology in a single product. This product is approximately five and a half thousand pounds retail today. So I've got in my hand here the latest implementation of our technology. This is a Bravura transducer and you can see from uh, the uh, way I'm holding it here that this is an extremely thin transducer. Uh, this is a single-ended transducer that we have in our Bravura and it's taking advantage of the three years of development that we have put into the technology. In total, this is about half a millimetre thick. So across all three products, collectively, they have now won over 30 awards worldwide. And I'm delighted to announce today that we've also won the Hi-Fi Plus Headphone of the Year Award in 2021 for the Bravura. We've got an amazing opportunity ahead of us on the back of the reception that we've had for the proof of concept projects that we've completed this year. Um, we've doubled the size of the team over the last 12 months. We're now 30 people in total. Our challenge to realize the potential of this organization is to grow the team uh, to probably about 50 or 60 by the end of the next 12 months, and then to take forward into production the uh, products that we are working on uh, with the OEMs at the current point in time. We really believe we have the opportunity to deliver revolutionary, it's an overused word, but it is, it's a revolutionary experience for everybody out there who listens to music. Such is the change, such is the discernible difference that even 10 year olds here, when you put these headphones on their head or when you sit them in the car, they just go, wow. And that is fundamentally what we've got the opportunity to deliver as an organisation. If we did not have the economic benefits, if we didn't have the sustainability aspects of this, we wouldn't be able to change the cabin experience, the user's experience, in the way that we have the potential to do. It's those three things together that make this an exciting company to be part of.